Matthew Bible, Genesis, Summary to Chapter 13 Abram and Lot depart out of Egypt, and Abram divided his land and cattle with his brother Lot. Here again is promised to Abram the land of Canaan. The thirteenth chapter Then Abram departed out of Egypt, both he and his wife and all that he had, and Lot with him unto the south. Abram was very rich in cattle, silver, and gold. And he went on his journey from the south even unto Bethel, and to the place where his tent was at the first time, between Bethel and Ai, and unto the place of the altar which he made before. And there called Abram upon the name of the Lord. Lot also, which went with him, had sheep, cattle, and tents, so that the land was not able to receive them that they might dwell together. For the substance of their riches was so great that they could not dwell together. And there fell a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. Moreover, the Canaanites and the Pharisees dwelled at that time in the land. Then said Abram unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between thee and me, and between my herdmen and thine, for we be brethren. Is not all the whole land before thee? Depart, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, I will take the right. Or if thou take the right hand, I will take the left. And Lot lift up his eyes, and beheld all the country about Jordan, which was a plenteous country of water everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodome and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord and as the land of Egypt till thou come to Zoar. Then Lot chose all the, con all the coasts of Jordan, and took his journey from the east, and so departed the one brother from the other. Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot in the cities of the plain, and tented till he came to Sodome. But the men of Sodome were wicked, and sinned exceedingly against the Lord. And the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lot was departed from him, Lift up thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which thou seest will I give unto thee, and to thy seed for ever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise and walk about in the land, in the length of it and in the breadth, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abram took down his tent, and went and dwelled in the oak grove of Mamre, which is in Abron, and builded there an altar unto the Lord.